this is just how to like figure out your macros. So um, you need to figure out your uh, BMR. So that's your uh, basal metabolic rate. Um, this is standard that does not change here. This part is a standard in the formula. So the only part that you would change is you're gonna put your weight in pounds right here and then your height in inches and then your age. So there's only three things that you need to put in. Pounds, inches, age. So I kind of already did that for me and Janine, or Nini, keep saying her real name now. Um, so I have uh, Nini's macro breakdown here. So we put her current weight, her height, which I converted to inches. And so then I did her um, equation here. So I kind of show you like basically like if you add this or times it together, it'll be like this and you can add it. So you add, add, and then subtract the last portion. And this, the part that I like about this one is it does take in consideration the person's age, because as you get older, you may need less um, calories, but you don't really necessarily know how much you need. And that's how come sometimes you can feel like you're a little overweight or not. Um, my mom has that issue. Um, and I have to keep trying to know this is what you need to eat. So nice. moving on from her body dysmorphia. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I figured out Nini's, uh, BMR is 1,597. So you take that and then you times it by the amount of activity level. So what that means is if it's little or no exercise, it's 1.2. If it's, um, light exercise and only a few times a week, that would be 1.375. And then if it's moderate, you go three to five times. I did this one for myself because I think I go a minimum of three times a week. Mm -hmm. And if not more, I try. Ideally, I should be in the six or seven. I don't make it there. That will be my next goal. Um, but yeah, so I did mine at, do by the 1.55. But for uh, Nini, because I know that she said that she's trying to get up more, but typically it is at least a few times a week. I went ahead and did it off of that. So that gives her um, her caloric range at 2,196.72. I always wait to the end to round. I don't like to round prior. But that's a nursing thing. So that means she can have 2,196 calories to maintain her weight. So that's what she can eat and she will never gain or lose. That's exactly what her body needs at this point to keep what she has. So if I deficit... Below that, that's when I start losing weight, essentially. Correct. Got it. So, essentially, if you um, consume 500 calories less, then you will lose one pound for 500 calories. Okay. So, what I did was I figured out if you're just doing one pound a week, then mm -hmm. you could do the 1,696 calories. Mm -hmm. And... To me, that would be more ideal and more manageable. And plus it's healthier because you don't want to try to lose more than that. Mm -hmm. um, but then I did another 500 to see um, like if we did like two pounds a week and then that kind of dropped you to the 1,196. So for me, I would just round it to like 1,200. I've been on that personally and myself before too in the past. I don't like yeah, that. It's too I try me. and it's super hard. I think by dinner time, I still end up just like, oh my God, I've got like nothing left and I'm really hungry. Um, I think probably I just need to up my activity. So yeah, no, and, and to be honest, much. It is kind of very on the person because some mm -hmm. people really can't manage that. And mm -hmm. I just, I don't like when anybody tells anybody, okay, your range is 1,200 per day. Mm -hmm. That's it. I'm it's like, hard. It's very hard. For you. Do you, you want me I to know. just eat you? Oh, oh. Like, okay, I may <laughs> not eat animals, but I have no problem shoving that skewer up your butt and putting you over the fire. I'll roast you. <laughs> That's what's going to happen if you limit me to 1,200. Right. Right. <laughs> I'm like, you want not to gonna have a good day. <laughs> Let's take this whole fight. fight. No. <laughs> right. Oh my god. That is fighting words. <laughs> so then on this, um, it was kind of like, okay, now how do we figure out how to divide the macros? So typically for weight loss, I always see people do 40, I've even seen 50% protein, um, and then 30 carbohydrates and, and 30 fat. 
I've seen people um, actually take away. So you're looking at where it adds up to 100 when you add them. So I've seen people even go as low as like 25 for the fat. Um, did I actually add? Maybe I didn't. There was a, um, an explanation on why and the ranges that are proper. Um, I'll try to find that and post that at a later point. But this is the average. Um, so that's kind of what I went based off for ours. Mm -hmm. But again, you can always adjust it. Like I said, some people want less. They don't want only 25% fat or whatever. So then you would move that 5%, say, to protein. So then now you're 45% protein and 25 fat. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. That's pretty manageable okay. for me. I've been trying to do a lot more protein and stuff like that. So I'd probably and then, the protein a little bit. Right? No, definitely. Um, and so then I kind of did like your ranges. This is the calculation here to figure out what grams to try to hit. And this is where that app, my fitness pal comes in that I love so much. So we take your, your caloric goal, which I kind of, I divided it and it kind of went like more towards um, the middle because I thought the other one was too, um, wait, did I divide yours? I just went with the high one. I think I went, went with the high one for yours. Okay. So a pound a week, uh, which again, you can, um, you can always change it um, and customize it more specific. But so we're going off of the pound a week. So that's 1,696 calories a day. So okay. using the protein um, formula, it says that you should have 169.6 grams of protein. To be honest, I probably would just round up and say 170 and then take yeah. the other decimals off. But that just to give an idea of this is what your goal is. So when you put your, your my fitness app or when you're setting it up, you can enter your calories. And then you can also change your macros to meet this. So when you start logging your food, it will calculate it out for you. And it'll let you know, uh, like, you only hit 100 so far, or, you need another yeah. 70. Okay, so that's cool. why those apps are important, because then you're making sure you're hitting what your body needs. And it even okay. shows you, it'll give you a breakdown of the nutrients, too, from, like, even vitamin levels. Um, mm -hmm. But so that's why that those types of things are fun to use. Um and then carbohydrates, when you do it, it says um, 127. And then for fats, it's uh, 56.5. So again, I just round to 56. Um, mm -hmm. But with that said, I feel I always go over on my fats anyways because of my obsession with avocados uh -huh. um, and olive oil, clearly. But <laughs> So then that's how we would figure out what that would be. So those would be your key numbers that you would plug in. It actually makes a lot more sense now that you explained it to me. Yeah. So then that helps you kind of like when you're picking out your plates, like if you're using that method that we were kind of showing you earlier, and then mm -hmm. you kind of can enter that in. And then my fitness pal will kind of calculate and let you know, like, hey, you know what? You're still kind of down on your protein. Why don't you take another protein shake? Well, I mean, it's not mm -hmm. going to talk to you like that, but you know, when you click it, you can see like, oh, look, this is yeah, low. Yeah, yeah. I could do this to supplement it. And then that Perfect. way, you know, you're staying in your calorie range and that you're trying to meet your, um, and really, to be honest, I look at it more as a guide. I don't follow it 100% exact, exact. I know some people mm -hmm. do, and especially as far as the protein goes to, if they do follow it exact, it's normally the protein and, the, you know, to make sure that you're getting enough, um, mm -hmm. anything, anything else. And I did mine too, so... I kind of plugged that in. Um, you're more active, so, so obviously your intake could be higher. So yeah, I did the 1.55, as I mentioned earlier, like you said. So then it said for me to maintain where I'm at, it's 2,400 calories to consume a day. And I'll just maintain. Sounds like what I've actually probably had been doing prior, which is why I wasn't gaining or losing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's why I was like, I need to start focusing again. Um. But then when I did the one to two pounds, it gave me a range from like 1,900 to 1,400. And um, I kind of did the middle. So what I did was I, I took, what's the difference in that? I think it was like 500. And then I just divided that in half. And then, um, so I actually just took off 250 extra. So that way it kind of gave me the middle range. And that way I could just, um, you know what I mean? So, cause I didn't want to yeah, go yeah, too yeah. high and I didn't want to go too low. And by mm -hmm. me taking to say kind of like more towards the middle, that put me pretty much exactly at your calorie intake, which would be the 1,696. 
Nice. So then my macros turned out to be the exact same. How funny. <laughs> Like, you know, wait so I was a like, second. Why did I even waste my time doing mine? I could have just copied right. it. <laughs> but the reasons why are different, so it, it still makes sense. But it's crazy how it yeah, no, because it same. is true. You do need to make sure that you do it based off of yourself because you don't really know. Mm-hmm. And I was gonna say too, I found this Forbes calculator that I thought was pretty awesome that people could use too. Mm-hmm. Um, the only downfall with this is it only gives your um your calories. So say if I put in. Wait, how old am I? 36. I like that moldy. That's my age. <laughs> Already blonde. Um, so if you put it in, so it will tell you, okay, so you're here if you want to be here. So you can kind of like, I want to lose 30 pounds or whatever. So it'll tell you, eat around 1,600. You'll lose 31 pounds in 202 days. The nice. only thing is it doesn't give you the breakdown of the macros. So you still have to kind of do that yourself. So Mm -hmm. that's why I thought that she is still important to have because Mm -hmm. again, you can achieve weight loss as long as you're in a deficit of calories, but are you doing it in a healthy way? Yeah. Yeah. I'm always like, just do it in a healthy way. Don't make sure that you're, you're giving your body what it needs and make sure that you're um, being healthy and starving yourself and then mowing like a bunch of crap and stuff like that. Like, yeah, and you're not going to get the results you want. You're not going to get the look you want. And you're just also not going to feel great. No one likes feeling bad. Nope. So. And you're grumpy and tired and sad and don't do it. 